Hey, what's up? It's Brian. Today, we'll talk about the hot question. How do you choose solar panels for home? This translates to a larger question, how to switch your house to solar energy. Let's go with this process step by step. I'll skip over the reasons why people go solar. We've already covered them in one of our previous videos. In short, a solar panel system is a great long-term investment. Having your own clean energy generator is profitable today when utility rates go up. The first thing you have to decide about your future system is the way you want to set it up. There are three types of solar systems. The most popular is a grid tie system. Grid tie system is when your house with solar system is connected to the grid and you either use commercial electricity or solar energy. You can pump excess energy into the grid and gain credits from your utility that covers your future electricity bills. This is known as net metering or net building. Grid tie is the most simple and the cheapest type of system that provides steady income. Grid tie system can be of any size. Even a small one will still contribute to lowering your electric bills. All you need to build it is some panels and an inverter that turns a direct current from panels to alternating current for your appliances. The complete opposite of a grid tie system is an off-grid system. This is the case when you don't have connection to the commercial grid whatsoever and instead rely only on solar energy. Solar panels generate energy during the day and you use batteries at night. Your solar system has to be powerful enough to charge the batteries and provide enough energy for all your appliances. An off-grid system is expensive because of batteries, but it's great for houses in remote locations where the grid is old and not available at all. You'll need panels, an off-grid inverter, batteries, and a charge controller to keep your batteries safe. And then there are hybrid systems. They are a crossover between the two. Your house is connected to the grid and you can pump your solar energy into it. At the same time, you can also have batteries. Unlike the grid tie system, the power in your house stays on when the grid goes down. A hybrid system is more expensive than a grid tie one, but sometimes it pays for itself better because batteries help your house to avoid peak utility rates. You'll need panels, a special hybrid inverter, batteries, and a charge controller. So these are ways you can set up a solar system. Let's now talk a little bit about the panels themselves. There are three popular types of panels. Polycrystalline panels were popular back in the day. Poly panels are bluish in color and they have a marble-like surface. Today, they aren't as popular because they aren't very efficient. What you want for your house are monocrystalline panels. These are the most modern and efficient photovoltaics. You can recognize them by black color and rounded edges of the cells. There are also thin film panels. They are light and flexible, but they are rarely used for home installations because they come at low wattage. So it's monocrystalline panels then. There are lots of manufacturers on the market and it's easy to get lost. Chinese companies like Jinko, Trina, and Long Guy make the cheapest panels, but they can be hard to find in the US. North American panels from brands such as Canadian Solar, Silfab, Mission Solar are slightly more expensive, but they are well made and come with great warranties. Then there are companies that make the most modern and posh products like Panasonic, LG, and SunPower. They offer the best panels that there are, but you pay a lot for them. We talk about brands and panels in our guide on how to save money with solar energy. It covers the basics of the solar system and the ways to maximize your profits from it. It's free and you can find the link in the description to download it. Now, how many panels do you need? This translates into a question. How much power do you need daily? If you have a detailed monthly bill, then you can find there the number of kilowatt hours that your house uses in a month. You can ask your utility for it as well. Divide your monthly consumption by 30 and get the daily energy needs of your house. The average consumption of an American house is around 30 kilowatt hours per day. Thus, if you want to cover it fully with solar, you need to build a system that would produce 30 kilowatt hours per day. The production of your system depends on where it is located. The same installation is going to produce different amounts of energy in Los Angeles and New York. Daily production equals power rating of your system multiplied by peak sun hours. 
Peak sun hours aren't the same thing as daylight hours. It's the time when panels receive maximum irradiance. The number depends on the season and location. For example, the average number of peak sun hours in California throughout the year is 5.6. Thus, a 5 kilowatt solar system in Los Angeles produces around 28 kilowatt hours per day, a bit more in the summer and a bit less in the winter. That's enough to power a medium sized home. American homeowners build systems that just barely cover their energy needs, and the average size of a solar system in the US is 6 kilowatts. Recently, it even increased to 7 kilowatts. So, that's the number you can shoot for. Now, let's choose panels. Monocrystalline panels have different power ratings and vary in their wattage from around 250 to over 700 watts. Usually people use 350 to 450 watt panels to build a home system. For example, you can use 15 400 watt panels to build a six kilowatt system for your home. It also makes sense to purchase a couple of spare panels just in case you'll have to replace a module. You can use panels of any power rating for your system, but the panels get larger the more powerful they become. Bigger panels are harder to fit on a roof. But speaking of the roof, while it's a popular place for solar installation, you don't have to install your panels there. Sometimes it doesn't have enough space or you can't get a good positioning or there is shading or the roof is just not strong enough. In this case, you can go for a ground mounted system. It's easier to set up and thus cheaper, but it takes up space that you could use for something else. Larger solar systems are ground mounted only and it's easier to use bigger panels in them. So, you figured out the type of system that you want, the size of it, the panels that you want, and equipment for it. Once you purchased everything, it's time to install the system. Basically, you have to find an installer. You could try to do it yourself, but I can't recommend it unless you are a certified electrician. In fact, in some states, it's illegal to do it by yourself. Keep in mind that the installer also handles all the permits and inspections with the authorities. Basically, it takes three to six weeks to build a home solar panel system. If you want a grid tie and a hybrid system, then the last step would be an electrician from your utility coming and connecting your system to the grid. Basically, that's the gist of it. I hope that your solar energy will go smoothly and we'll be putting up more content like this video soon. So please subscribe to not miss it. Also, go and check out our socials. We post lots of useful content for solar owners and green enthusiasts. Don't forget about the free guide in the description. See you soon.